Hello fragrance specialists, my name is Chance, welcome to my guide, and thank you so much for tuning into another one of our essential oil breakdowns. Today we're looking at geranium, which has a ton of uses to it, my goodness, when I was researching it, I almost didn't believe it, Gonna looking back at it, I regret it a little bit, but whatever, it is great to know that an oil can be used for so much. In any case, before we dive into its profile here, always consult your doctor before use. Super important, guys. Geranium's relatively safe for the most part. I haven't really found anything that indicates it's dangerous, but still, consult a doctor. Now let's move on to its profile. It is described as having a sweet and uplifting floral aroma. And its uses, my god, just a wall of text in front of me right now, guys. I'll do my best, but bear with me. Female reproductive disorders, menstrual cramps, infertility, endometriosis, premenstrual syndrome, menopausal symptoms, circulatory disorders, Reinhardt's disease, varicose veins, hemorrhoids, neuralgia, nervous skin disorders, depression, fatigue, emotional crisis, stress-related conditions, wounds, acne, bruises, minor burns, dermatitis, enzema, ulcers, hemorrhoids, head lice, ringworms, sebium balancing, urinary and liver tonic. Huh, <sighs> my goodness. Under, or under methods of extraction, you'll see steam distilled and blends well with bergamot, cedar wood, jasmine, lavender, lemon, orange, rose, and sandalwood. Check out the playlist for all those videos. And under notes, you'll see can be a skin irritant if oxidized. And as always, if it's in those higher concentrations, it can be an irritant as well. So just make sure diluting properly. Now let's dive into the history of geranium. Geraniums are native to South Africa, but were brought to Europe in the 17th century, and f the first cultivation for distillation of the essential oil was in France. The plant was subsequently re-exported to the French colonies in Africa and elsewhere, and then more widely. Geranium oil is widely used as an important floral component in fragrances, cosmetics, and household items where fragrances is needed. It is a major component in the soap industry and also used in pharmacy, herbal medicine, and aromatherapy. Very good stuff. Once again, a long history of use, which is always good to see when you're dealing with these oils. Outside of that, let's quickly check out a recipe. This is for razor burn relief, and the recipe is 6 drops German chamomile, 8 drops geranium, 10 drops of lavender, 5 drops of lemon, 1 quarter cup olive oil, and 1 quarter cup fractionated coconut oil. Mix all oils together and store in a dark colored glass container. After shaving, massage a small amount on legs or underarms. Do not use on sensitive areas. Very cool stuff, just a nice simple little recipe that you can squeeze into your day to day. If you like geranium or you'd like to add it to your collection, please do check out Rocky Mountain Oils. The link's down beneath in the description. Also, if you have any thoughts, questions, comments, concerns, or recipes involving geranium, please do put them down beneath as well. That being said, I hope you have a wonderful day, and as always, may all of your future endeavors smell divine.